and welcome to Community Hotline at Home. I'm Monica Weitzel. In light of recent developments in our country, we wanted to get some ideas about how people can get involved to help support each other on the path toward healing and racial equity. We'll be talking with one of the leaders of two local nonprofits, Play, Grow, Learn, and Beyond Black, organizations that are working to strengthen the fabric of our community. With us today is Jermaine Flintroy. Jermaine, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for having me. It's my pleasure. You know, I know that um, you recently spoke at a, kind of a town hall in, the, in Gresham, at Gresham City Hall, and it was called Black Lives Matters, uh, a conversation on race and reconciliation. And it, it was really impressed. It was um, a passionate discussion. A lot of it focused on changes right here in East County and our own community. Can we talk a little bit about some of the work that that you think it will take for this community to heal. Sure. Can you talk about that a little bit? I just think, you know, out in East County, when we really look at it, and we got to really address, like, humans' lives, right? Like, making sure these young people have the opportunity to grow. Like, even what we do, like, play, grow, learn, is real serious. You got to give the kids the opportunity so they can thrive, become productive community members, and we got to have, like, the resources to make that balanced act, right? So, meaning, you got to give kids the proper facilities so they can come and just be kids, Right, then we can address anything you like to address if you want to bring in, like bring in law enforcement, make sure that's a genuine relationship, right? Just giving the kids the proper opportunity for facilities, resources, so they can grow up and be productive people in East County, I think is very important. There's a couple things I'm hearing you say. One is that they need to have the opportunity to play, to grow, to be kids, um, and they need a place to do that. So I assume a safe place, and that's yes. sort of what your your nonprofit Pro, uh, Play, Grow, Learn is all about, right? It's a, a safe place for kids. Correct. So we, yes, that, so we, because if you get a kid and let them really feel safe, they become more productive, right? They can just be kids with no judgment, right? Just say, hey, kid, come and just have fun. And then you grow in with things such as, like, even transportation, even, like I said, even learning what do city council does? All these opportunities is very important for young people to not only just know it, but learn it, right? Like, them as our future leaders. And you start, to, you start to teach them at a young age, so when they become 21, they're ready to be productive members in society, right? Like, that's the easiest part of the easiest thing we can do. But they just got to have the opportunities and understanding of how do this work to make sure you're going to be a, a, um, a productive tax paying citizens. So they, they need the opportunity. And then you also mentioned something about, say, if you bring the police in and, and get them to, to know each other. So it's, there's a lot of relationship building as well, right? Yes. So just kind of cultivating those relationships between community members and these kids so they can see people doing positive things in the community and, and find out where change can be made or, or how they can impact their own community as they grow up. Is Correct. That, like, yeah. that's what we do. So we, on Tuesday nights, we have law enforcement comes in to really have a genuine relationship with our kids because we want them not only because this, that's the only way you're going to get community policing if you start to allow the kids who's in the community to learn the law and the rules and the regulations. You get a genuine relationship eventually because a lot of these kids go to college and when they come back from college, they need to know that that's an the opportunity there, right? Like, all we got to do is keep making sure that's a genuine relationship and it all takes its place. You said something um, at the at the town hall that was um, that struck me, and it was something about about how when you get to know these kids, that you're no longer seeing the race; you're seeing they're, they're part of the human race. When you actually learn to care for another kid, it doesn't matter what color they are. Something something to that effect. Do you remember that? Yes. So I have this friend. I was telling everyone. Right before I got on that call, I was talking to one of my friends. He's a 70-year-old white man, right? And we were just talking about he's a pastor out in East County. And we were just talking about, like, how our relationship is, right? We talk to each other, like, every Friday. And we just getting to know each other. It's like no no kind of thing. He's, just, he's an elder man. I'm a young man. We just talk. And that's what I was telling everybody else. That's how you build relationships. You got to actually talk to people, get to know them, right? Don't judge people. Everybody is human here. We all do the same type of things, but you got to be intentionally and learning how to just look at people for who they are, 
not for no color, not for no L Young. And you get to know him once you build it. That's just all about being a genuine relationship. Because once you build a genuine relationship, everybody grow. So tell me, um, you've talked a, a bit about kids, and I know that's something you're kind of passionate about, and you're a father of several kids yourself. So how, what can you say to parents uh, to, help, to help their kids? What, what do you think is a, a, some good advice for parents as far as raising their kids to become not just productive members of society, but to be somebody who recognizes the humanity in each other and, and looks, past, you know, looks past race to the hum, humanity? It's like every day, you know, like it's that time, patient, right? Like I have uh, three kids in-house. I have two in college, but I have three in my house. I have to treat them young people as well as I treat myself. You got to give them the patience. You got to give them hope, right? You got to just continue to build they everything they're working with. Once you give a kid the opportunity and they first, when you show them, give them patient, then that builds the trust. Right. Once you start building the trust in your kids, they're going to start to grow. And it's that challenge and balance that we're trying to teach them to become productive people in the world. Like, right. Just you got to have some patience. You got to let the ups and down and some discipline. Unfortunately, <laughs> just can't. You got to keep the discipline in there and let them really believe in that. Right. And it becomes just like a it's almost like a, a seed in a plant. If you water it and give it nutrients. Eventually, it goes to be a stronger tree, right? Like, it comes up. That's the same thing you have to do with the kids. Like, I love playing with my kids. And then I tell them always, sharing is caring, right? Really, sharing is caring. Like, making sure that we, we do, I do games with my kids. It's very simple. We'll put some cookies out, and we're going to see which one of them was willing to share the cookies, right? Someone would take more than that, and they do it. I switch it up on him and make him get less and give the other more so they can learn the opportunity of sharing is caring. <laughs> I love it. I love it. So um, you, the Play Grow Learn is a nonprofit that you, that you co-founded. Yes. Um, and then you're also involved with um, Beyond Black. And that is an organization um, that, that works with the African-American community in pr pretty much the Rockwood area or East County area. Is that right? Yes, East County. Okay. And you're the wellness and nutrition director there. Is that right? And on the board. Correct. Okay, so tell me a little bit about how that works and how this that, that would fit into this conversation. So Beyond Black, basically, we start organizations to build the relationships, the gaps between community and government entities. And we do five different arms of Beyond Black. We have the Wellness Nutrition, which is, I'm the director of that. We have Economic Development, which is we building, you know, helping young people, black people for sure, trying to build their business. We do Public Safety where we're trying to go and learn, like I was saying, about the law enforcement, and we do youth and family service. That's kind of where Play, Grow, Learn, and Beyond Black has this kind of relationship. And then we do public engagement, meaning we go to city hall, talk to city counselors, and we're making sure we bring in youth so they can understand the opportunity how to talk to city council. How do you see what the mayor does? How do you necessarily even see what city budgets is all right? So that's a all them five arms is kind of where Beyond Black help the community and the resources. Like to, um, Thursday with Monoma County, we're going to be giving away gift cards at Nadaka Park to our community members, as well as we do stewardship at Nadaka Park because sometimes people don't realize how important a tree is, right? Like we're making sure our young kids are out there learning how to plant trees so they can get oxygen, make sure they go green. So Beyond Black sort of come back in there. We make sure they have all these different levels of how you dress the community and being able to take some of them reasons to the people who should be there, right? And making sure like community can just feel welcome walking into City Hall. Because sometimes just walking into City Hall is a intimidating place, right? <laughs> Until you start to show others that they can walk in City Hall and be part of the whole community and start making it easier for everyone to, um, join the party, as we say. <laughs> well, that's right. If, you, if you're, most kids would be intimidated and most adults actually would be intimidated yes. to walk in there. But if they feel like, yeah, I will be heard and, and I've been here before and I, you know, I've seen these people, I know these people, you know, then that, that intimidation factor goes away. They'll be much more likely to be civically engaged. Yes. Right? yes. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's a great plan. I like that. Um, is there anything else that we should know? Or are there other organizations that you think people should try to get involved with? Things that would help our community heal and move forward? I just think 
just people reaching out to either be on Black or Play Girl Learn, first of all, and see where they skills at, right? Everyone has a skill. Everyone can help everyone. That's kind of that genuine building relationship. So maybe if you are a website host or you got some kind of techno code, that's how you're going to bring your friendship anyway, right? Maybe you can do anything. Maybe you can do cooking. I even tell people, how about just even showing a person how to eat at a table? That's a skill that sometimes people take for advantage, right? Like people don't know what forks and all that. You can easily set that up, do it. Everybody got a skill to opportunity for all of us. That's how you get to know people. Whatever you got, if you want to get to know a person with a relationship, all you got to do is reach out. You go to Playgirl Learns website or a Facebook page or Beyond Black. You can say anything, even if you will like the, you know how you do uh, sewing things? Like you do, like, you know how crafts, people, and, crafts, and, crafts and things like that. And, yes. Yeah. All them type of things are wonderful because that's just a way to sit down and talk and learn. That's how we all going to heal anyway, by sitting down, talking, listening, and learning from each other, bouncing ideals off of each other's mind. That's how you grow. So if anybody want to come and give an opportunity, every everybody counts. Every last one of us counts in this world. That's how you make a East County thrive. That's how you make East County rise. Everybody come with a skill and just do it. I love it. I love it. Right. Thank you so much, Jermaine. I appreciate it. I appreciate your insights and all the work that you're doing in the community. Thanks Thank for being on the show. Have a nice day. Thank you. Bye. And thanks for all of our viewers watching today. To all of you from all of us at Metro East, stay safe and stay healthy and make sure your voice is heard. Get involved. Bye.